Oh, look at the pandas having such a nice time rolling around. And here I am suffering, scared out of my mind. Okay, I'm working on my living room, just finishing it, minding my own business. And then here comes Squidward running in the room with a crossbow. I ran out my front door and left the game. Oh, I haven't joined back since then. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh gosh. Um. Oh. Huh. Get out of my house. Get. Is there only one? Okay. Do they sometimes only attack on one? Huh. Fishy. I was messing with my fireplace, and then he comes running in through here. I thought my place was about to be ruined. But anyway, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of our Let's Play. Yes, I have my electric wings on. No, I did not want to have them on. Get, get out of my life, electric wings. I actually had to go to the nether to get more of that stuff. Oh. Oh, I didn't think about... Oh. I should probably check on my villagers. Well, everything seems to be good. Uh, maybe he was just like a scout. What if they sent out somebody to spy on me because I found their bases? Oh, man. Did I just start a war? Okay, uh, I heard these guys' textures were going to change, but they don't look changed. Oh, they do, actually. Well, they got a little pouch. He's got a golden pouch. Why are you special? <gasps> we can't trade with them anymore. No, wait. What? Uh, what what's the point of these guys then? Why didn't they just change? Oh no, guys, we have no more villagers. All right, like I said, I went to uh, the Nether to get some more Nether War. I actually found a whole new Nether fortress. Look at you, uh, right next to the one we've already found, and I got two more skulls. So I just need another one, and I think I want to try to fight two Withers at once. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I won't spawn him right here again. Um, by the way, uh, clear up some misconceptions from last episode. Uh, this right here actually is amazing. You know why? Because I have one stone block. I can't craft anything with that. But with this, you can craft anything. Isn't that incredible? Oh, that's a cool sound. I should probably make like a grinding sound, you know, because it's all, you know, anyway. <laughs> but that, uh, uh, that's amazing, actually, because that is going to save us on lots of costs for the future. Oh, just now getting done. I was cooking up some of this, and we can now take these out because all I had to do was pick this up and put it down. The blast furnaces are now usable, so let's go ahead and replace these finally. Oh, wow. Blast furnaces are expensive. <laughs> what on earth? The stone slabs look like they're double stacked. Wait. What? <laughs> do I get two back? Oh, I do. Okay, those are some glitched slabs. You see, I'm learning. I was about to use my crafting table over there, but then I realized I could just do this. Wait. Hold up. Where's the big slabby things? The big block slab. Oh, you gotta smelt these. That's right. Gotta hurry up before those despawn. Now, this is one thing I had a question about. Does the blast furnace smelt ore quicker and stone stuff, or just ores? Oh, it doesn't even... <laughs> this isn't going to plan. Okay. I knew I wasn't losing my mind. I googled it. This, right here, is supposed to give you smooth stone. But it's not. This is a furnace. Yes, that is a furnace. <laughs> what? Why is it not working? It doesn't work in a blast furnace either. Okay, since the game is gl Liam, stop fooling around. <laughs> since the game is glitching and I can't get what I want, can I use these weird stones? Oh, there's a smoker. No, I can't. Dang it. Oh, there it is. Sm How do you get these? I, I, I guess we just can't make them. All right, whatever. I might want to mix furnaces in with blast furnaces just in case because, yes, I'm, this is where we're going to be smelting most of our ore. I don't want this to be specifically for that, just in case we need to smell something. So I might put, like, three blast furnaces and three... Or no, maybe four blast furnaces and two normal furnaces. But I'm going to change this up a bit. I normally had them up right here, but I'm going to make it more of, like, a walk-in furnace. Um, let's get rid of these. I need to go get more of those. There we go. Kind of just something like that. Until we can make more of those, I'll replace those three. Uh, I had to put the lantern on the floor. You can't put them on slabs for some reason. Uh, I like it. All right, Liam, get out. That's my chair. Um, 
and I wonder when they're going to add functionality for <laughs> for this and I'm assuming that's just going to be for I don't know I guess we'll find out I want to put a barrel down in here just for now this is where we're going no stand straight up I'm gonna put like this stuff little nuggets all right but anyway uh what else do we got going on for today um kind of got it planned out here okay first change out kitchen cabinets Turns out, <laughs> you know, last episode I was like, what are barrels even meant for? I mean, we already have chests, and I didn't even think about it. You can put stuff above a barrel, and you can't a chest and still open it. And the perfect thing for this is, you see, I've had a chest up here holding our food this whole time. This will be perfect for uh, these, because if you put it sideways, look at that. It looks like a perfect cabinet. So let's go ahead and switch this out. There and there. Looks like beautiful. Huh. Well, huh, huh, <laughs> no, I don't know, do I want, okay, where, do I have a silk touch, okay, there's a silk touch, do I want to keep these bookshelves here, or do I want to put them, ooh, I don't know now, but that, it does look good, it has that spruce colored, so it can match, yeah, look at that, oh, oh yeah, yeah, let's get rid of this one, now we have, like, Double the, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, now we can, uh, you know, organize it. So we can have, like, fruit, uncooked items. Okay, yeah, I'm going to organize it. There we go. Uh, I'm still not... Oh, yeah. I forgot I got a refrigerator, too. That's, like... I don't know what I'm going to put in there. But over here, I'm going to have, like, all the stews. And I still... You know what? This episode, we're doing it. I, actually, right after this. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to do it right now. I want to make rabbit stew. Pains me to do this to my little babies, but I got to do it. Give me one of you. Oh, wow. You got a lot right there. Can we fix this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> but I didn't even get one. Oh, you. Give me. Oh, you little. Thank you. All right. Oh, hi, Derpy. Taking care of my chickens. I see. All right. Let's do this thing. I think I have all. Yep, there it is. Rabbit stew. Yep, everything needs to be cooked and well prepared. Oh, I thought you needed a red mushroom. Or mushroom. Guess not. There it is. Do you get an achievement for this? I don't know. Actually, I think I already got it. I might have made this before. Um, but we're going to save that for a special occasion. Um, I'm going to put that in. I'll just throw it in here. All right, now that that's finished, we can change out the old furnaces and replace them with the smokers. Well, there we go. We can do all six now. Okay. Oh, I like that. Oh, look, it looks like a little oven. It's perfect. I guess they look... Okay. I guess that texture is okay. Um, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of how much brown there is. I wish it was more stove colored, kind of just like that, you know? But it's all right. Now, how fast does this cook? I mean, yeah, I guess it's a little faster, but when I looked on Java, it was like really fast. Oh, well. Oh, look at that animation, though. That looks cool. All right, George. Gosh. No, 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 no. No, 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 Stop! 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 What? Why does he... I didn't mean to hit him! Oh my god, George is gonna die. I don't know how to... Bad puppy! Does he... Does he... I... George is dead. Stop! You're going in timeout. And you just ate my... He was a good friend. You didn't deserve this. What a shame. <laughs> Gotta find a grave for him now. <laughs> How much you wanna bet this is one of my escaped bunnies back here? Oh, oh no, you're not getting away. Good. Gah. All right. Anyway, uh, poor George. Dang it, I want a George Lat. That's stupid. That just, I mean, it's not a bug, I guess, but it's something you should, you should be able to make him stop attacking something because obviously... There's prone to be accidents like that. Maybe you should be able to make him sit and it should stop. But um, he can, he, he'll can he have a little bit of a smaller grave here. But I can't keep doing giant graves. So he'll have one right next to Terry. If you know who Terry is, you're awesome. Uh, Terry was... He wasn't really my bodyguard. He was he lived in a cave, if you know where Terry's cave is. All right. Um, I'm going to put his iron and his little rose in there. Give me that back. Fresh. You know what? I actually want to replace this with coarse dirt. Taking Anonymous on a walk here. Could this be you, buddy? 
I still need to put the date back up. I remember I took it down because I thought we found Pablo again. <sighs> Could this be you? Could, did you just run off and break your legs and sit there forever? Is that what happened? Anyway. <laughs> Let's get this. I think this will look better. Yeah, because it looks like it was freshly planted. And then um, we can just put... Oh, I got to go back and look when he was created. So I can... Oh, hang on. Yeah. This seems morally wrong, but I have to do I'm sorry, George. The grave wasn't big enough. I need a bigger stone head. For sure, I'm finding the... You know what? Why not? Can go for it. Wow, time flies. I had to dig back a while. I had to keep going back episodes like, wow, did I really not create him in this one either? He dates back all the way to 7-20-18. Ah, oh, he didn't reach a year old yet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, poor George. Um, you'll be missed. Anyway, let's move on. By the way, look at this. They changed it. Oak signs, they have, like, them lines through it. And now, look, spruce signs look way different. I feel like I should put how he died, too. You... Anonymous, get back. Oh, no! <gasps> Anonymous, come on. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Guys, it was a mistake attacking those places. I think they found us. How is it? Oh my, please don't tell me. Oh my God, he has a flag. Please don't tell me there's a rhinoceros around my house. That's what I call them. I know they're called something like a rampager or something. I call them rhinoceroses. Get off of my, pro this is my, get off of my property. <laughs> Get over here. Get your booty. Ow. How, how easy do you die if I can hit you? There you go. Oh, I got his flag. Okay, that's cool. Where's your buddy at? I don't like this. Oh, hello. All right, I have no idea where that other guy went. Whatever. <laughs> I will be honest, seeing these guys, like, approaching my property and just running around on it is probably one of the coolest things I've seen in, in a while. Okay. Everyone just shows up like this is their place now, but I've owned this land for five plus years and you guys are just now showing up Get your own dang place, but before you go, I want to see your trait. All right. Uh, whoa, they changed it Wow Wow, that's actually way nicer <laughs> All right. Um, oh look at that. I already got some though. Oh, what? Hold up. How'd you get those slime balls? Uh-huh yeah, yeah. As I was saying, though, hey, look, little turtle finally hatched. Um, I love how these guys, or how um, I can come across this. Oh, I got his banner, too. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. I'm going to duplicate that. We can put those around. Um, but it just brings an extra little bit of excitement to the world, knowing that I can get attacked. Like, this is my place is no longer safe. You know, I never thought of this. What if this is actually Pablo, and it's just, he's so old now, I have to pull him around on a leash because he's, like, blind or something? Oh, that would be the coolest thing ever. He could, you know what, should we call him Pablo? I don't know. Go back to your leash, though. <laughs> oh, good lord. You're free, chicken. <laughs> Play it. Oh. Oh, don't hit the cat. Oh, what if he attacked Bobby? That would have sucked. But Blam, I'm very disappointed in you, but I know you were just trying to protect me. You had no idea. You just saw me smack a golem in the face, and you reacted. <laughs> All right. But anyway, um, I need to throw these in the fruit chest. I want to see if you can... I don't know, actually. Can you... That's a cool banner. Look at him. I want to see if I can duplicate this. What would be the base layer, though? Gray? It's either light gray, gray, or or black I'll make banners of all kinds here sad to see that this play oh wait we got a black sheep but uh we lost a few sheepies in there um so we're gonna have to fix this let me get some wool there thank you and they all like turned white that's so weird and there's a random black one over here but I'll take your wool not thundering right please hope not whoa God, that scared the crap out of me. The volume's so loud, and I can't... Oh, wait, you can sleep during thunderstorms. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, 
This has been quite the eventful episode, hasn't it? Um, let's use the loom here for the first time. So, let's say I wanted to duplicate that. Okay, I guess you can't. All right. Well, um, light gray banner. Oh, wait, do you put it there? No. There. No. There. What was that sound? Funny. I like how you can see all the patterns now. Okay, I just assume you can't do... No, let's go create one of our banners. All right. Let's grab one of these. I just need... Wait, so... To duplicate banners, do you do it in the loom, or do you just do it in the crafting table like normal? Can't put that there. Or Yeah, you can't... Okay, you can't duplicate in here so oh my god those cows are annoying <laughs> I guess you just do it in this like you normally do like that no you can't do it like that anymore blue banner yeah that's the base interesting okay let's figure this thing out because I'm confused got a white banner let's say I throw in a die oh and then you choose the pattern what goes there then Okay, I'm just assuming this little paper thing means these over here. So this is, you can only create banners from that. You can't duplicate them. So did they completely forget uh, that we want to duplicate banners in this game? I think they kind of took that out of the crafting menu and forgot to add it into the loom. Because you can't do it anymore. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Well, these are the glitched out ones. It's not even called black banners. It's just called... Banner. Oh. What? Now it's white and doesn't have a name. And let me guess, I can't destroy it. Oh, no. No. Oh, you can. That is weird. <laughs> well, until I know how to duplicate these, uh, oh well, yeah, I forgot we got those from the end, too. I'm gonna put this in the trophy room. All right, so next on the agenda, by the way, this is the next day for me, so if I sound different, that's probably why. This is my morning voice. I'm up early. Yeah, I'm never up early. <laughs> Actually, I am. What am I talking about? <laughs> Today's comment question of the day, I'm going to go ahead and answer this before we go do something, is from Andrew Elzenrath. They say, or ask, do you miss the old touch feel of Pocket Edition, and would you go back to it, except for the lag issues and storage issues, or do you like the keyboard and mouse better? Interesting question. While we answer this, we are going to go out to my taiga biome and check for foxes. Right and flesh? I forgot to eat this. Oh man, I'm been freaking feeding Liam all that steak. <laughs> He's spoiled. Anyway, uh, if you didn't know, I have a taiga right out here past these mountains, so we're gonna go to that. But while I'm heading out there, um, I, by the way, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to today. I wanted to actually work on the living room or the mansion. Next episode, that's all we're working on. Well, we're gonna do other things, of course, but that's gonna be the main priority. I wanna finish that living room and move on to the next room in there, so. Um, to answer your question, though, yes. Wait, that didn't really answer your question. <laughs> no. Um, okay, I do love mouse and keyboard, and after I've used it for so long, it's obviously way more versatile than, obviously, a, 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 what is it? A touch screen. Like, you can react way better, and it's just a way better experience, but since I started there, and um, it's just like I haven't played Pocket Edition in years now, I would love to go back to it. I can't on my phone, sadly. If I could, if I could transport this world to my phone and play on it, I would do a few episodes like that, just to, for like the good old days. But I can't, because it just won't run on it. It runs literally like one frame per 10 seconds. <laughs> and that sucks. So maybe in the future, I might get like a better touchscreen device, and maybe we can do like a throwback type of video where we can play on Pocket Edition on this world again. That would be kind of fun. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers your question. Um, I don't know if this is, this isn't, what am I talking about? This isn't considered a time. Oh wait, no, I have one over this hill. Get. As far as I know, I don't think you can tame them. I know you can breed two of them, and then the baby will like you? But does that mean he follows you? I don't know how foxes work. I think they're just always wild, but I really wouldn't, I would, oh, I should have brought a leash. Did I bring a leash? I did, but who's, who knows? We're not even going to find one, probably. <laughs> Cute little puppy, Liam. That used to be you. Wow. Just as I assumed. The foxes aren't even in the game yet. What am I doing? Someone told me they were. I guess I 
probably should have just went off of what I know rather than them, I guess. <laughs> but, all right. Um, thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we're going to work on that. By the way, I built something here. We're probably going to implement that. It could, probably could be compacted more. But I want to implement this in the house. So, like, when the day gets triggered, for, I mean, when this gets triggered from, like, it turning night or day... Three dings. <laughs> I think that'll be awesome. Um, the only thing is I had to... I could, huh. Well, I probably could implement this where the piston is sideways, but I don't I don't know if I can or not. But um, I think this will be well uh, for like in that house. Maybe somewhere around the clock tower or something. So we're going to do that next episode. See you guys there. Bye-bye.